Hey everyone, this is Troy over at Stack, and today I'm going to give you a quick run through of our using our HVAC catalog. So I have my plan, I have my scale set. I'm going to go ahead and create a new takeoff, and let's measure this uh, 12 by 8 duct first. So I can say this is rectangular duct and 12 by 8. That would be a linear measurement. I can override the color if I want to. And we're going to go down here and grab an item and assembly. So I could search for this, um, but since we're here, let me just show you where it's located. So I'll open up the stack assemblies, go down to the HVAC catalog, and I'm going to grab my uh, rectangular duct. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and add that assembly. The assembly is going to ask me some questions, so I'll have some text inputs at the top, and then I'll choose my duct um, and my installers down below. So 12 by 8, so 12 by 8. If you're wanting to calculate crew hours, you can say, you know, my crew can conduct uh, or finish 45 linear feet per hour, and this is a 12 by 8, so we're going to go down to this 12 section and choose my 12 by 8. If you have strapping, you can choose your strapping, otherwise leave it as none, and you can choose your crew size. So I'll send out two installers for this. Save. Now one additional step with the HVAC catalog um, is we want to create a label group for our different gauges of metal. Okay, so instead of, you can do this after the fact, but right down here, we can say start measuring and go to this label group section. I will give you a quick tip. You absolutely can create label groups, you know, for each project, but you, if you create label groups up under company settings, so up here to account settings, company settings, here are my company labels. So we can see that I created one for gauge that has my gauges listed out. What that does for me is I can quickly pull that into any project that I want to. Uh, which is really, really nice. Um, so in this case, I would start this as where we left off. I could go into my library and then just pull my gauge uh, label group into the project and we can see that it's it's ready and good to go. But um, so if you'd be doing this a lot, I highly recommend, you know, the couple minutes it takes to set that up. But let's just assume that you're going to create one on the fly here. So. I want to create a label group by gauge, and I'm just going to kind of list these out. So 16, I can hit the plus or press enter, 18 gauge, and I won't do all of these. Um, just trying to give you an idea here of how quick it really is to create. So now I've got a drop down, and I'm good to go. So I can select my gauge, and then go over here and start to draw. So here's my 12 by 8, one click to start. Double click to finish, one click to start, double click to finish. Now, notice I've got some other duct sizes over here. Here's a, a 10 by 8 section. So I could kind of replicate what we just did, and I could create a new takeoff, um, give it a name, choose a linear measurement, add that item or assembly. But honestly, a much quicker route is to scroll down here to the bottom to duplicate and modify. So I'm going to say, yep, I want to duplicate this 12 by 8. There, I'm going to say, you know what? Now we're going to switch to our 10 by 8. Create. The assembly is already attached, which is awesome. So I'm just going to change my input there and go down to put that back to none and grab my 10 by 8. Everything else can remain the same, and I'm good to go. Um, it's really, we're good to go. Um, I can change my gauge if I wanted to, set my gauge, so it will stick there, and draw my 10 by 8. And we're going to see it's a different color, that way it's a visual cue that we're measuring two different types of pipe, and I'm really just going to work my way around the plan page using the same method of duplicate and modify and just rename the different sizes of ducts as we go along. Um, you'll do the same workflow for round duct. Okay, so you're just going to choose your round duct, grab your round duct assembly, 
um, and you're good to go. You'll use the same label group that you used for the rectangular. Those, those label groups are, are project-wide. If you have transitions or elbows, we're going to handle that with a count. So let me just do kind of a generic elbow. And we're going to do that as a count. I can start my takeoff. Oops, let's grab that elbow quickly. Silly me. And go down to... Stack assemblies, again, you can search for these as, as much quicker. I just want to show you the actual locations for this video. So I'm going to my rectangular duct and grab um, transitions. Boom. Number of accessories installed per hour. Okay, again, that, that is for uh, labor purposes. And then I can choose what I want. So... Uh, elbow 90 degrees and then I can choose um, the size that I want for that and you can see that there's quite a few to choose from there I'm going to choose this for illustration purposes again I can choose my labor hit save and then I'm going to go click on my on my two elbows again I would work my way around the plan but you can see really quickly in this even taking the extra time to explain this um, you can accomplish a lot in a very short amount of time. And the reports, our takeoff quantity is going to show we've got two elbows. It's going to give our linear feet for our two duct sizes. It also lists our gauge. So you can see now the importance of that. We could also group by gauge. Um, so it kind of groups those together for, for your larger project. And then for the materials as well. So I have my materials. I have not inputted pricing yet, but I can see my quantities and I can see my gauge. So it works, works really, really well. Um, again, I would recommend creating your, your label groups up here under company settings and then just pulling them into the job. Although to be honest with you, it's very quick to do it this way as well. So set your gauge, start to draw. If you forget this step, no worries at all. We're just going to go highlight or multi-select. We can click on this and say, you know what? I meant for that to be a 16 gauge. And now it's saved within the measurement. And I think you're going to love it. So you'll be amazed at how quickly you can uh, run through HVAC with our new catalog. Any questions at all when using this, feel free to hit our chat button. Start a new conversation. Boom. Uh, we can hop on a quick screen share and help you get to where you be and overcome all your questions because we want you to love stack as much as we do so absolutely appreciate your time today thank you very much